Hi, I'm Doug Keck. This is an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Just had the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Paul C. Vitz about his book, The Complementarity of Women and Men, Philosophy, Theology, Psychology, and Art, available through our religious catalog. Tell us, Dr. Vitz, what's this book about? Well, it's about how men and women are equal in dignity and significance and so forth and importance, but are different. They are significantly different. And that difference forms a complementarity. That is, it, it, it combines men and women in a way that creates something new and synergistic, creates something bigger and better than either one could have created by themselves. So I, I, I have five chapters in the book. I wrote one chapter, and the others are by very intelligent and I think very readable authors. Uh, we have one by Jay. Budashevsky, who introduces the whole problem and the importance of difference which and of equal significance, but it's not, it does not mean you're identical or the same. You can be different, but equally significant, but not the same. Mm -hmm. And he does that with a nice Socratic uh, interpretation. And then we go to Sister Mary Prudence Allen, a wonderful uh, historian and wonderful theoretician about the history and meaning of women, and uh, she identifies gender ideology and where it has come from and how much the people who promoted it were often involved in misrepresenting or even perhaps deception of interpretation, and she compares it to gender reality. Mm -hmm. And gender reality is what the book of complementarity is focused on. Men and women are both wonderful and equal in significance. But we're, we have significant differences, and those differences actually work out in positive ways, or certainly can and often do. Yeah. And then the next chapter is by um, Deborah Savage. Dr. Savage is a theologian, a philosopher, and writes very well about the genius of women and the genius of men and how it relates actually to a theology of complementarity or introduces you to a theology of complementarity and then the, and that next chapter the fourth is by elizabeth lev and it's about the sistine chapel and the paintings of michelangelo and how his paintings express a previously unobserved but very important complementarity of men and women in his paintings and there it is in the sistine chapel where people could have seen it for centuries but I haven't noticed it, but Elizabeth Lev has, in a very brilliant way, identified it. And then finally, my chapter, which is on psychology and neuroscience, where I summarize a lot of the differences that have been clearly observed uh, with respect to men and women. Both their brains are different, their behaviors are different, all kinds of things. Even our mental pathologies tend to be different. It's amazing. You, know, you read this yeah. book and you understand if you follow the science, it's amazing how it lines up with the Catholic perspective on men and women. Thank you so much, Dr. Paul C. Vitz. The Complementarity of Women and Men, available through our EWTN Religious Catalog. And of course, look for the entire interview with Dr. Vitz on our YouTube channel and on our On Demand page. I'm Doug Keck. This has been an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Thanks for stopping by. We shall see you next time. Thank you.